Hey everybody, today we got an emotional sentencing coming from Ann Arbor, Michigan, Judge Cedric Simpson. Make sure to like and subscribe his channel, check it out. Here we go with the video. Kirkhoff's case is uh, the people versus Eric Vermeulian. Assistant Public Defender Natalie Pate with and on behalf of Mr. Vermeulian, who stands to my right. Please state your name for the record, sir. Eric Anthony Vermeulian. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Where are we on this? Thank you, Your Honor. Today's the date and time set for sentencing on both matters. We have reviewed the PSIR and we have no material changes or corrections. Um, and we would ask to adopt or to address the recommendation briefly when appropriate. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. We have reviewed the recommendation. We'll understand it um, as well at the probation recommendation. We are asking that the court considering sentencing Mr. Vermeulen to 68 days on each case, credit 68 served during the alternate 93 days, credit for 68 and the balance to be suspended. Um, as your honor is very aware of Mr. Vermeulen as well as these cases, and he has been in custody for some time. He does, he does have some housing instability at this time. I have been able to talk to some of his relatives. Um, at this point, it is not a guarantee whether or not he will be able to stay with them. Yesterday, I was able to talk to another family friend of his who may be able to actually take him in. Um, however, at this point, it looks like Mr. Vermeulen would be staying in a shelter, and he does have concerns. Um, we talked in great length about the recommendation. He doesn't want to violate probation. Um, he has no, I guess I should say, issue with attending MRT, but he had thought out how he has a bike, um, how he might have to take it in the winter where he would have to be riding his bike the way over here and he might miss a class and then of course he would be in violation status of his probation um he is not very much we had a long conversation about this me and mr vermulen i personally did not get the impression he was trying to avoid getting sentenced to probation um as your honor is aware i have a lot of those conversations with people who don't want to do probation mr vermulen really just is dealing with a lot right now. His long time in custody um, has made things worse, so to speak. And we're asking that the court consider sentencing him to time serve or in the alternate uh, suspended additional sentence. Eric, anything, anything you want to tell me? You know, after the altercation with Brian, he apologized to me for what he did. And took me up, bought me some cigarettes and a breeze pen and a pop. And then he had me arrested. And I lost my place and everything. And I didn't do nothing. I did run from the cop. I, cops, I was scared. I didn't, wasn't even thinking about it. What I was doing. Can you please give me time to serve? I have an extreme amount of difficulty when I get out of here regrouping, getting me a place. I plan not to break the law. I did not with Brian. I didn't hurt the guy. The guy was very mean to me, but I needed a place to live. And this is what he did. All he had to do was ask me to leave. He did not have to do this to me. <laughs> I'm very sad because now I'm going to be a bum in society. He, he made me lose everything. Now my self-respect. It's going to be very hard. I'm going to suffer quite a lot to get going. I'm going to try to do it. But the guy was very wrong in what he did. Very wrong, and I should not have run from the cops. I was just in the I don't even know why I did. I, I just don't think I was mentally there. I don't, I just don't know what happened. I still don't know what happened. I just know I'm here, and I know I'm very lucky. I'm it had people working with me to this point, trying to keep me out of jail. I don't belong in jail. Your Honor, may counsel I approach? Okay. Anything else you want to say, Eric? No, sir. All right. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Right. However long we've been dealing with each other. <laughs> right? And you always ask me for something. And I always tell you no. And we do it my way. Right? No, sir. <laughs> That's just how we work. 
So here's what I'm going to do. You're going to be able to get yourself out. What I'm worried about more than anything with you, Eric, is that you find housing. I'm really, just listen to me. I'm worried about that. Because if you recall, two of the previous cases that you had with me really result from you not being housed because you're trying to, you were trying to survive. I mean, and I, I get it, but I think if you can get yourself housed or at least give a shot at getting yourself housed, then I think things can look a little bit better for you. I have no choice. I have to, I have to do something. My plan is, to get right as soon as I get out of here, I'm going past McDonald's. I'm putting her in the app right away. Okay. And I'm going to go up there every day and pound her head until I get a job. And I'm going to make some money and I'm going to put it down on a room or something. I'll give me a place. Okay. I've already took care of myself. Okay. So here's what has to happen. You can get out, but I want you to come back to court on Friday so that um, you can talk to a Friday afternoon so that you can talk with someone. Um, that's when I have my housing docket. And I want you to talk with someone just to give you resources and I, places that you can don't. Eric, what did I just uh, tell you? Yeah, sure. And you're going to start talking. Go ahead. And I'm going to tell you we're going to do it my way. Right? No, yeah, I was just saying I did talk to somebody while I was in jail concerning I, this. I know. Who was that? They were two ladies from Okay. Yeah, right, I got you. <laughs> yeah. So Friday afternoon, you're gonna come down here. We'll know that you're here, and then I'm gonna have you talk with somebody and let them get some information, get you resources, okay? Sounds okay. Good. Yeah. What time? If you don't show up. Oh, no, I'm going to. I'm going to have to go out and find you, and you don't want me doing that. You'll find me quickly. Yes, I will. I'm not planning. <laughs> I've been in this area. You'll find me. Oh, okay. I'll show up. So here's what we'll do, Eric. And I'm going to follow these recommendations because, Eric, the other thing is... <laughs> You got people here that when you run into a difficulty, you can rely on. Sometimes when you're out there by yourself, you're not making the best decisions. Okay. So when things come across and you got to try to figure out what to do, you can give us a call. Okay. I think I had mentioned that to Teresa, that it's good to have someone on your side. That can and that's help. why I'm not just sentencing you to time served. Yes. It is a good thing sometimes. And it's something you need, particularly right now. Okay? Okay. All right. So on the case ending in 106.4, sentence of the court, 18 months probation, $555 fines and costs payable as directed by probation. Your Honor, I'm sorry, one more thing. Is there anything on them fines? Like I worked three hundred fifty-six hours on for the jail. Is there anything you can do on the fines? Just I worked hard up in that kitchen, scrubbing and cleaning and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. Can you do anything on the fines? Just so I could get some money going. I'm gonna need a lot of money to get going. I don't have any clothes. I, I have nothing. Eric, you've been dealing with me how many years? It's been over a decade. You know, when it comes down to you surviving or being out there and the money that you owe the court, which have I really cared about? Taking care of business. You taking care of business. All right. You're going to work with probation. We'll realize where you are financially. We'll deal with it. Got it? Yeah. I'm going to, on that case, waive the probation oversight fees. You comply with the terms that I'm about to set forth in the other case, that ending in 1056, 
while ordered 365 days in jail, credit 68 served. The balance on that is suspended. On the other matter, place you on 18 months probation, $555 fines in court costs, $360 probation oversight fees that will be payable as directed by probation. There's to be no use of alcohol, recreational marijuana, or any illegal substance. You'll be subject to random testing as directed by probation. You are to complete the MRT program or a comparable program. There's to be no contact with Brian Maynard or Zane Maynard. No going to the residence or employment of those individuals. No assaulting, threatening, or intimidating behavior. You're not to possess any weapons, firearms, ammunition, or anything fashioned to be a weapon. You're to begin and maintain employment with proof to probation. I'll order 93 days in jail. Credit 68, sir. The balance suspended. On this case, um, I'm just going to add a 12 defendant to report to 14A1 courtroom. Uh, October 11th. 2024 at 1 p.m. Someone's got to report to probation. Well, you got to go to probation. But what did I just tell you? I need you here Friday at 1 p.m. Yeah. So that you can talk to them about housing. Okay. And then they work with Herlera when you got to go to probation. All right. Okay. Eric, I want you to keep in touch with Miss Plara as to where you are. Okay. You hear me? Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Eric, you're going to call me when you get out. We'll get things set up and I'll help you. Okay? All right.